we had a quite a trip yesterday. We went out to the Barrier Islands on the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, it was an interesting day because the west wind had been blowing all week, and uh, often what happens in that case is that the water gets stained. So the water had about four inch clarity. It had a lot of silt in it. Uh, it looked sandy, like it had texture. And so if you know about fishing for, for trout, you know that that'll throw off the fishing quite a bit. We still caught trout. They were just a bit on the small side. And in fact, we caught a lot that were around 12, 12 and a half inches. Switch. So one thing I discovered that despite that four inch water visibility and that sandy look to it, these trout were very receptive to a jerk bait. I caught a lot of fish on a jerk bait. Now most of them were less than legal size but I could basically catch as many as I wanted to of these little guys. Now that's not the size of fish that people get really excited about. But I'll tell you what, that size of fish is really great for roasting whole on a charcoal grill. I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking again today. So just like in episode one of the Cedar Plank fish grilling series, I'm gonna have vegetables. Except this time it's gonna be a pepper emphasis. And uh, the mushrooms, of course, the grape tomatoes, Tomateo. Now this time before the vegetables go on the grill, I'm going to toss them or soak them in a vinaigrette. I'm going to add some Merlot wine to it and that is going to be the flavoring for all of those vegetables. Now I'm not going to do a lot of seasoning on the speckled trout themselves because they don't need it. One of the secrets about cooking fish whole is that there's a lot more flavor than if you just do a filet. I'm gonna put a bunch of salt in. I'm gonna oil them first, just use a regular vegetable oil. I'm gonna put a lot of salt on that oil, which will hold it, and I'm gonna put some sachets on as well. Uh, but the salt will really bring out the flavor. So it's been 11 minutes since the vegetables have been on. So I'm gonna add these planks in here and these I'm gonna get ready to get the fish on the planks very soon I'm keeping the planks on this side there are no coals directly below this so uh, I'm, I'm trying not to overheat those planks I'm gonna add some smoke at the time that I put the fish on the planks I'm gonna first soak these chips in water. That's what produces the smoke, of course. They smolder and kind of throw them in the side and let it work it down. Just going to lay these on the planks. And my temperature has dropped to 250. So that's a really nice temperature for the fish. So I have 300 degrees. This is a good, good temperature for this. Yeah, the fish, they've had 15, about 20 minutes, and they are, I would say they are perfect. One of the things I like about this plank versus just putting them on the grill is that, see, I can lift them up, they're not sticking. You, when, when you do it on the, on the, just on the grill surface, you have to be very careful because the skin will stick to the grill surface and then it rips the skin off. So there's a certain technique you have to do. Basically, you have to let the skin reach 
a point where it will release from the grill surface before you flip them. So it's kind of tricky. And there are the completed Cedar Point grilled speckled trout. Hey, so uh, if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful or you like this little cooking series that I'm doing, hey, give it a thumbs up or let me know and uh, share if you think someone else would like it. As always, appreciate the subscribers to my channel and I sure hope you can get out there, catch some fish, and do something interesting on the grill with those fish.